Why should you do it is the first, is the first step. Whether we like it or not, guys, we actually all live on an island, and we're building more houses than we are building reservoirs. And we are starting to run out of water. If you take the last couple of months, uh, press releases through the news media, a lot of our reservoirs are drying up. Install. The tank we're showing you here is a tank that will go in the ground. We will size these tanks for you because it's not a given that you'll get a house type in Scotland with a roof size of, say, 60 square meters having the same tank size as one in the south here. Because what we will do under BS8515 of the code is take your property, measure the roof sizes, look at the weather data for where the house is, is going to be located, and size the tanks for you. Rainwater isn't a, a difficult technology. It's simply, we'll collect the, the rainwater off the roof. We'll ask you to put sealed gullies in, and we'll bring in the rainwater into sealed gullies. The reason we ask for that is we don't want anybody putting surface water in there, so you could end up with uh, oil going if you had a drive, oil going into the water. The water then will come into the tank and come up and have a look later. It will come through a calmed inlet and fill the tank up. It's as simple as that. The next bit is we will provide with the systems the pumps, and the pump will be inset into the tank. There will be a leaf filter in the tank, so we'll take out all the leaf debris of 400 microns. On the pump is another filter, which is 200 microns, and this is all to stop any muck that gets in there getting behind the ball valves to use uh, for harvested rainwater into the house. Once you've brought the pipes into the house, we'll ask you then to come up, put the stop taps on, put in line another filter, which we will supply to you, and now we're taking the, the particle size down below 120 microns. Anything past 120 microns will pass through your ball valves. You'll wire your pumps back to here, and inside the tank, but we'll fit for you, will be a, a depth gauge. When you get to this point, you'll wire the pump in here and also the depth gauges. From this point, you have a decision to make, gentlemen whether you fit a gravity-fed system or you fit a direct-fed system. If you fit a direct-fed system, that means the pipe's going off the top of the uh, control panel there, directly to your WC. You will flush your WC. This control panel measures a pressure drop and turns the pump on. When the ball valves come back to play and they settle and they fill up the systems, then it will build the pressure up and it will sense it and turn the pumps off. If there were no water in the tank, then what will happen is the waveguide that's fitted in there by us will actually not allow your pumps to run, so you're not going to burn your pumps out. The system that we're seeing the developers move to is to fit a header tank version in, and that will then allow what's in there is two ball valves, a harvested mains ball valve and a normal traditional mains ball valve. And what it means now is the water's coming from the header tank down to the toilet systems. So you flush them in the normal way. The water level in this tank will drop. The ball valve will open up. This panel senses that there's a pressure drop. It turns the pump on, fills up the cistern, and away it goes. If you now run out of water or there's a power failure, the water level will, will continue to fall. And then inside the tank will be a a mains ball valve that drops manually so there's no electrics involved, the customer will never notice the difference. So that's for me is the belt and braces of all the systems. It's a little bit more expensive to fit, but believe me, it will save you all the earache. What is definitely happening in this industry though, systems were being fitted by the ground workers and the mechanical packages were being thrown across to you plumbers and heated engineers. The trouble with all that, when you leave site and the householder has a problem, they're calling you the plumber. And what is happening is you're saying, well, I never supplied it, and it's back to the ground worker. They never get a ground worker into someone's house to repair the loos. We are seeing this package become more and more the plumber's package. And to back up the support of it, whilst it's not a technical product, here with Plum Center, we have got courses that you can get onto to be trained on how to put it together. 
It's not rocket science, guys and girls. It's a pump with a tank. But if you get them around the wrong way, it can be a bit of a disaster. Adrian, can I just ask you, what about legislation on this? Well, legislation, as I say, is uh, what one of the code is here at the moment, but you will not be doing uh, putting rainwater in at code three. But there is an element of the code called sewer one. And sewer one is all about the flooding element of the industry. So if you're in clay, clay soil, they will ask you to, if you can't infiltrate the root, rain that hits the roof, they will ask you to do some suds techniques, one of which is rainwater harvesting. The others are putting a gravel pit in. But if you're in clay ground, the water's not going to run away. We are seeing more and more builders come back towards this. The other part that is driving this, if you were to build inside any other London boroughs here at the moment, right, they will ask you to do rainwater as high up the hierarchy as possible. So if you're building under a London borough, there's a plan called the London Plan, which you'll have to build to. A lot of authorities that have experienced all this one in 100 year rainstorms that we've been experiencing over the years, we are also taking the same steps. So it's going to be become a more of a planning issue as well. But as you can see, if the tank's full, this will actually self-clean. But it will need checking periodically, and you'll lift off the, the cover and take out a basket, which will then take all the leaf filter uh, debris away.